right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for my review of the Concept Knives Cosmos. There you go. Designed by Paul Munko, and it is Stonewash 20 CV Titanium and Black and White Chinese Nebula Carbon Fiber. And that's what we are reviewing. Welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And guys, definitely make sure you like, you comment on the video, uh, you hit that subscribe, and then you hit the notification bell so you get notified uh, when we go live, when videos drop, which, by the way, we go live every Monday night, 7.45 p.m. Eastern for KF Live, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern for Week or Month in Review. So join us for those, and go check me out over on Instagram, at Knives Fast. Now, this is the Paul Munko Design Cosmos, as I said, from Concept. You have titanium, a bolster lock here with uh, Chinese, they call it white and black, uh, nebula carbon fiber, but this is not camo, car I mean, excuse me, fat carbon nebula. This is Chinese cam uh, carbon or fat carbon, they're calling it uh, black and white or nebula. Uh, I think that's interesting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's not as good looking in my opinion. It doesn't look bad. It's not my, you know, not my absolute favorite material or my worst favorite. It feels great. It has good grip to it. Um, and it is finished well. It's just, you know, it doesn't look as good as the Nebula uh, carbon fiber. For those, uh, fat carbon, for those of you that don't know uh, what that is, um, this is, uh, is this Nebula? Yeah, this is Nebula. And there's, so this is uh, the red, blue, white, and black. And then this is just a black and white Nebula, they're calling it. So that's interesting. Um, so it is quite different you have a titanium clip uh comes to about right there sticking out of the pocket you got your munko knives logo there not reversible you do have a um uh lanyard pin here at the end which is really cool you have a nice uh black wash looking backspacer and your tip comes very near to the end uh cannot get a hold of it but it's there interesting shape when closed it kind of has this narrow narrow wide kind of thing going on um and that's pretty sweet uh we are flat scales but we do have some nice chamfering <coughs> along the edges and the uh the the yeah the titanium is finished well has really nice chamfers as well single-sided pivot uh not sure if it's captive or not but single-sided uh you do have a very small low profile flipper tab uh, that's kind of at the end there. Has decent jimping. I wish some of their jimping, I think uh, this jimping right here is very aggressive. It's similar to what's on my new knife, the um, uh, the Fractus, which is actually a little bit deeper uh, jimping. But I think they must do their jimping and then tumble the blade uh, because you end up with some of this um, uh, jimping kind of being softer. I wish that jimping on the th on the uh, flipper tab was a little more aggressive. I do like his little cutout here and the way this flipper tab sits and uh, the detent's pretty good for it. Not bad at all. Um, and you can also uh, kind of lay your finger beside the blade uh, with this grind line and flick it open that way. Uh, at least I can. Uh, so really cool. Now, this is kind of where it gets interesting. This is a very different and intriguing blade shape. Now, I talked to Paul Munko uh, about kind of the, the uptick of the blade and the downtick of the handle. And his answer was uh, that being up like this, you can get that tip down and get more of the blade on the surface without pushing your knuckles. Now, I will tell you, you can't get it flat uh, with your hands attached. You know, you, you can get it flat uh, without your hand under there. So he's saying in a pinch grip, I believe. Yeah, that's what he was saying. So in a pinch grip, you can get that blade completely flat uh, by doing it this way, which is really cool. Um, now, I will say, guys, we're just going to do this uh, right off the top of this video. This uh, flat ground, pretty high flat ground blade is quite the cutter. I've been doing a lot of cutting with this one uh, because I'm pretty impressed uh, with the clean cuts I'm getting uh, from this blade shape. Whoops, and of course, I tore the 
the uh, cardboard there. That was not the knife's fault. That was mine. Um, so, yeah, now I've made a giant mess and knocked over uh, Powdered Toast Man. And uh, that's not good. All right. So, uh, really interesting knife. And it cuts pretty dang well, as you can see there. Now, if I'm just holding the knife, uh, very nice because now you've got this cant here. Now I will say my thumb naturally lands between these two patches of jimping. Uh, but if you're back here or you're choked up and you're up here, um, yeah, you can do that. Now you do have a choil. You got to kind of stay back off of the blade. You have plenty of room for sharpening relief. Not even a question there. Um, you have a lock bar insert and yeah, it's very hard to put pressure on this blade. Uh, when when de deploying it, that's not a problem because there's so little of the lock bar sticking out. Uh, really interesting knife. Now I think aesthetically, uh, I would call it interesting. I mean, it's not uh, profile wise, it's not one of those that just gives me oohs and ahs because of the the different. But I get it. I mean, I am the guy that always sacrifices ergos over um uh you know fo uh, form or beauty so i get it i mean my my uh, blade on the jet stream has a little bit of an up cant to it um and and i get it but um just there's been a lot of people commenting on that in my videos and so i thought i would talk about it um it's definitely interesting but again ergonomically four fingers back here you kind of do feel this part right here in my grip choked back uh, right there, you feel it on that pinky when you bear down. Uh, you don't really feel the clip. Now, when I choke up, this thing feels magnificent. You can kind of grab it right here. Um, and again, your blade, as you can see when I'm slicing, is kind of angled back. Do you see that? So if I'm slicing this way uh, with that grip, then the blade is kind of angled. Now, see, see, I screwed it up again. Kind of angled back. Does that make sense? And I think that's actually a very cool angle of attack uh, for slicing. I think I think it works really, really well. Now this is running on bearings and probably race washers. I'm not positive, but that would be my guess with concept. Our lockup is about a 40. Um, no real access uh, directly to lock bar, but you have a chamfer. You do have to dig down just a little bit. Again, I always prefer a nice cutout right there where I can get my thumb through easy, but the lock bar moves very easily, so it's not a huge uh, deal. You can see drops like crazy get out of the way. Uh, very nice. Now, lock up. Yeah, no lock rock, no blade play to speak of. Our comparisons are the Ontario Rat 2 and the Ontario Rat 1. You can see it's going to be smaller than the 1 and bigger than the 2. Uh, so let's talk through uh, availability. Let's talk through um, price. And then we will go from there. All right. Stay. All right. So this is, again, called uh, the Cosmos. It is $199.89. You know, I didn't even talk about price. I mean, excuse me, blade steel, which is 20 CV. It is uh, this beautiful stone wash. I love the swedge up here, too. Um, plain edge, 3.5 ounces. It is an 8.125 inch knife with a 3.5 inch blade and a 3.25 inch cutting edge. Now, the thickness is thicker. It's 0.15. But it does come down to a very nice flat ground edge. Um, made in China, of course, 3.5 ounces. A very intriguing, why did I take that down? Very intriguing Paul Munko design. Paul, ergonomically, you're never going to have to worry about his knives ergonomically. I don't feel like I haven't yet. I love the design. And by the way, it's finished well, too. You can kind of feel the transition there and catch your thumb on it. But not bad. And over here, it's it's clean as can be. Um, again, one of one. Uh, I'm sure each one is a little bit different. But uh, Paul's designs are great. I see why he did what he did. It's it's a very interesting and uh, well-made knife. So, again, $199. So, check it out. I'll have a link down below, guys. Thank you. Definitely like, comment. give me, Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.